a pal. Gosh, it sure has been a while. Yo, what is up there, guys? It was Beckett again for another video. And yo, long time no see, my Star vs. the Forces of Evil fans. How you doing? You're looking good right over there. Uh, uh, you know, New York Comic Con is happening, and apparently we got a brand new clip over here for Star vs. the Force of Evil. Season 4, of course, coming out in 2019. Ugh, it's a while away. It's called, the video that we have here is called Butterfly Folly Sneak Peek. Alright, so cool, yeah, we, we, we've been pretty star deprived for a while now, so let's go ahead and uh check this out see what we got here the last sneak peek that we got was pretty dope so all right um <clears throat> here we go three two one humans let us tell you a tale one that we all know too well maybe this will take my mind off of things the butterfly follies ho, ho, ho. oh no king of muni Easiest job I've ever married into. <laughs> wow. Who is this idiot? Damn. <laughs> oh, you're king. <laughs> oh, no, it's me. I'm the idiot. I'm all out of food. What do I do? There's a pie on my head. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Yo, look at Star Marco. This is an outrage. Let's get out of here. We don't have to watch this. Papa! Save the pie for me! Star Butterfly! Oh no. I Damn. Oh dear, what about your responsibilities to the humans? Here's what I gotta say about humans. Now I'll blast! Oh! Oh no! Oh, oh wow! <laughs> That's not how the normal blast works. <laughs> really? What? What's Damn. No, 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 no. I wanna see where they take this. But I don't. What do you think they're gonna do to me? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh wow, Marco, you lucked out, boy. Girl, you know I'm so sassy. What? That's it? That can't be it? No, you can't leave me like that. Um, this was kind of whack, honestly. The last sneak peek was better than this. Okay, but let, let's see, let's see. What have we learned from this sneak peek? Apparently, the Mumins are still not exactly happy in what went down. I'm assuming Eclipse is in charge at this point. Because if we remember the last sneak peek, the guard was like trying to torture that dude. And he was like, yeah, ever since Eclipse, uh, you know, became the queen or whatever, I'm not allowed to torture or put monsters in jail or whatever. So I'm wondering if the Mumins, I wonder if like she's had any decrees that are affecting the Mumins or if the Mumins are just not comfortable with Eclipsa and like, you know, the monster husband. Cause if you've hated monsters and you've been tell, if you like, if you've been um, raised or like whatever, whatever, like known to kind of like hate monsters all your life. And then all of a sudden you got a monster that's kind of in charge of things. Yeah, I mean, it, it could be kind of scary a little bit, but, um, Funny how the humans are still blaming Star and everything. I mean, it's not really her fault. She's she kind of did what was right. Technically, Eclipsa was the heir to the throne. It was the flipping um the uh oh my god, I forgot what they're called. What are they called again? Um uh the High Commission. The High Com Wow. See, look, it's been a long time. I'm forgetting stuff. The High Commission was technically the ones that lied. Well, I mean, not even really the High Commission. It was the king before that had um the daughter, um, uh, Meteora. Wow. I'm just charging. <laughs> I can't believe how much I forgot. The king that got rid of Meteora technically it was his fault because it was his idea to get rid of the kid. And regardless, it's, you know, hey, those people aren't around right now. Well, except for the high commission, but it's a lot easier to point your fingers at Star because, yeah, she did just kind of give this thing and, you know, the past was in the past, but I mean, you know, Star trying to be like, nah, technically, yeah, you you're technically the queen or whatever. But yeah, so basically what we got over here is the Mumins are still kind of thrashing about and Wow, she really just... Damn, that's... 
<laughs> I messed up. You know what this reminds me of, actually? This reminds me of that episode from, um... Avatar The Last Airbender. Yeah, this is exactly what it reminds me. Remember, like, when they were in the theater thing, um, like, kind of close to the end of the season, and basically they were just recapping everything the Avatar did, but, like, making fun of them in a, in a funny way? This is basically what this looks like over here. Um... Okay, they're still looking for Queen Moon. They don't they, they don't know where Queen Moon is. Yo, yo, look how close they are. Look at that. Do you see that? Ah, yeah. King King Rip. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. All right. Well, yep. I mean, I think I think that's all I can really say. I can't, I can't really think of anything else right now other than hey, Star Wars Force of Evil coming in 2019. I do believe it is coming in Disney Channel as well. Finally, because I'm always waiting for somebody to post it online because I don't have Disney XD, which is good marketing because, of course, now everyone can go ahead and see it. You get more uh, ratings and uh, good views, which is which is always a beautiful thing. So, guys, what I want to know in the comments section below is, you know, what did you think of this sneak peek? What do you think of the behavior of the Mumins and still basically kind of thrashing Star's family for... Uh, um, lying, uh, although it's it's not really them. I don't know. You know, they don't know the whole story, so it, it kind of is what it is. So, guys, leave your comments in the comment section below. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big, 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 big thumbs up, as it really helps me out. And until next time for the next star video, I'm going to go ahead and say, bye, pal. See you soon. I, I, I hope it's not too far away. I need my girl star back.